Hi everybody, this is Fox Nomad, and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you how to get a parking space anywhere in New York City. Now if you've ever driven to New York City, or any major US city for that matter, you know what a pain in the ass it can be to find parking. In New York City, you can pretty much forget about parking on the street. You're gonna need to find a garage, and it's very difficult to do once you're in the city. Most of them are valet, and it's hard to figure out where the garage is when there's so much traffic and pedestrians going on around you. Hey, watch, watch where you're going, you dumbass! On you. So in a recent road trip to New York City, I wanted to get around this problem. That's when I came across Spot Hero. Ah. Now this isn't an advertisement, although it's going to sound like one because it's almost too good to be true. Spot Hero is a free app that works pretty much like you would design an app if you wanted to find a parking space in New York City. You download the app, you search for the places you want to park, set the times, you make a reservation, and that's pretty much it. It really does work extremely well. I'm sure they add their own fees on top of it, but I was able to find a great spot in New York City right near Times Square for around $30. And it was self-parked, so it wasn't valet, so you didn't have to worry about getting your car scratched or anything like that, or tipping or any of those extra added things that you might not really be aware of, especially if you're foreign in New York City and you've not been there, you don't know how the tipping works. Spot Hero is a really, really easy way to get a parking space in New York City, and it works in a lot of major cities around the United States. Inside the app, you have a couple of filters that you can use to set your preferences, like if you don't want to use valet parking and you want self-parking, if you want a covered garage or an outdoor garage, and you can also expand the map in, zoom in or zoom out, and get an idea of how far you're going to be walking to the place that you're actually going to be visiting. So let's say you're going to Times Square, it'll tell you that you're you're half a mile away or you're a couple blocks away or a mile away and obviously it'll show you the prices as well so it really depends if the weather is nice and you're up for a walk you might be able to save a little bit of money on parking you set the times in the app and when you show up to the parking space you're just going to show the attendant the reservation on your app and you're good to go that's pretty much it there's nothing beyond that a few cool features about this app is so when I was pricing out different parking around New York City, I decided to change my mind and go from one garage to another garage and I was able to cancel without any additional fees or any kind of penalties. So if you find a better parking space, you can reserve that one and then cancel the other parking space without any additional fees or penalties. Pretty nice, which is why I say it's kind of too good to be true. You can also extend the time you want to stay. So let's say you're going to New York City or San Francisco and you want to extend the parking time, you can do that you just need to be sure to check in the details to make sure the garage is open when you want to take the car out so let's say you're staying past midnight till 2 a.m you might be able to leave your car there by extending the time but not be able to drive out until 6 in the morning when the garage opens up again that's something you're going to want to check in the details another nice thing about the details is you can see pictures of the parking garage in the details so you have an idea of what it looks like so you know what to look for when you drive into a city you can get an idea of what the garage itself is like is it brightly lit how big are the spaces and so on which is also a really great feature and there's a small review section you can read some reviews about the particular garage especially if you're using valet but they're not very helpful there are not a lot of comments in there there's also an additional detail section which I think you should always take a look at because some of the parking directions are going to be very specific and the garage I chose near Times Square which was Pier 83 had specific directions to get to the garage that Google Maps didn't quite pick up on it caused me to make a couple of u-turns that I didn't have to make had I just followed the instructions on the details so that's also something to keep in mind and really there don't seem to be any catches to it all it seems like the garages are just competing against each other and as long as they're in the app then that competition seems to keep the prices in check so for parking inside the United States across these major US cities spot hero is a really good option to try like I said this isn't an ad it's just an app that I found very very useful I found it very straightforward a few other things that I really like about the app is that you don't have to create a profile or a username once you download it it's ready to go now you can create a username if you want and you can give your friends seven dollars off and that will give you seven dollars back and I've also got a coupon for 15% off if you use the code welcome 15 on your first reservation that's linked in the comments below so there are some advantages to creating a user profile on spot hero but if you don't want to you don't have to so it's pretty much ready to go you'll find your parking space put in your name credit card number 
and then once you show up show the attendant your reservation and you're good to go from there so i hope you found this video useful especially if you're driving to new york city let me recommend that you don't try to wing it with the parking you want to get your parking sorted in advance and like with most reservations the earlier you do it the more choices you're going to have so don't slack and wait until the last minute although i did book about two or three days before and then I changed my reservation the day before in New York City and I was still able to find a really good spot. Thanks for watching and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up and if you really like this video please hit the subscribe button. I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hi everybody this is Fox Nomad and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you how to get a parking space anywhere in mother... This is the blooper reel, right? Today I want to help you travel.